Ev all, all, all Pikachu players, to my knowledge, love FOD. That's where it's Fox. For, for me, it's weird. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I say this just friendly. I, 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 no, no, no. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is for the, this is for the marbles. Hold on. I, hold, I, on hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, so. Are you going inside the? Oh shit! I'm just looking. Oh, yeah, the fake snake Jake with a mark. He can, I guess he has a mark. For realsies. This mark is pretty good. It's better than the Pikachu matchup where you have one kill option. You know, it's mad. I guess he's not confident enough on FOD with Mark. I wonder if it is an FOD. Oh, that was that was, that was pretty good. Uh, freaking wall of bears from Gluey. Yeah, yep. It's basically how it goes. People people pick their secondaries against Puff and then just get walled out. Off. One misty nut. Here you go, Jake, trying to keep it respectable. Charge on that shield breaker. He's getting back there. Ooh, he could arrest okay, him. He's, I feel like Connor is either like cautious or not confident enough. I know he can fucking do it. He's done it against me all the time, but I feel like he's not confident enough to get those clutch rests. Like the ones where you have like two frames of wiggle room. It's yeah, because they fuck up something. Yeah, no, like he. I feel as if Connor is just starting to come into those rests. He's leveling it up lately. Got him good oh, with the drops on forward. Eh? Since the beginning of the college semester, a lot of us have been getting a lot fucking. Ooh, Hit sick tipper from Zeke. I feel a lot of us have been freaking leveling up. We haven't. It's, it's been a good semester for the New Paltz Smash Club. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, man. Beautiful New Paltz, New York. Ooh, can't blame him for trying. I think he would have got that if he double jumped into it. Maybe. Fully charged Shield Breaker, 25%. Puff staying alive. What the Jake fuck was What are you doing, Jake? No, it was a ledge stall, totally on purpose. I think there were more optimal options out there. Counter bait now, Shield Grab with that Nair. He's, he's doing all right from Ooh, best. good tipper, good tipper. I don't know, why would he go freaking. I, I. He has a fox. It's not very good, but he has a fox. <laughs> Would you say his fox is better than his mark? No, no, but I feel like the matchup is a lot more forgiving for fox. I don't know if I'd agree with forgiving. I think this matchup is hard for Marth. I think it's also hard for fox. Well, Puff is a difficult character to deal with, but I'm positive that freaking fox beats Puff. 100%. Yeah. Okay, so like... Puff's only bad man. Puff's only truly losing matchup. You could argue... You could argue Marth beats Puff. You could also argue Falco beats Puff. But at this level... Not always that easy. Yeah. Falco just died at one touch a lot of the time. Oh yeah, Falco Pump is fucking horrible. 100%. And that's Falco who plays incredibly patient. No good. Like, I wish Jake was here so we could give him some insight into, like, <laughs> why he just can't freaking play Pikachu. Hits him with the raw smash, kills him at about 50%. Connor, what are you doing? He was <laughs> dead! Gives him a little love tap. And a game one. That's sweet of him. Let's see if we see that, uh, that Pikachu coming back out. I, I, he, he might. Oh, he's switching the tag. Go back to Goo. Goo, there we go. Big boys. Going to Pokemon. Go up with Train Light? I like Pokemon. I think Pokemon is one of Puff's objectively worst stages. Uh, yeah, but Marth doesn't really have any vertical kill moves, and there's a lot of room on the sides. Yeah. Well, For this matchup, I think Yoshi's is probably the best bet, because random typical can kill like 40, I think, right? Marth can find enough tilt to neutral to kill Puff off the top relatively early. That is true. You would have to probably, you would have to get Puff stuck on the platform. Though. Yeah, that's a read more than anything. Jake tacking on the percent. Has his first lead this whole set. Like, we're doing these, we're doing these exhibition sets to freaking, what's it called, like, gauge how we're all doing and to get some footage on ourselves and how we play, right? That's why I freaking took on Boosted and Connor, so I could see how, you know, see what I had to work on and how I was doing, right? That That's the premise, but I don't know. Maybe maybe he's had enough of mid-tier red. Maybe. <laughs> Coming over to the top tier. I don't side. know how much Jake is going to learn from freaking Marth Puff. Could be a lot. Maybe. Oh, okay, that was good. Let's go, top, Jake. Slightly over 100. Jake taking his first lead of the set this game. I think I underrate Marth a little bit. That's fair. I put, especially, especially in this matchup. On the tier list, I put Marth at fifth. You put Marth at fifth? Number one, Fox. Number two, Falco. Number three, Sheik. Number four, Peach. Number five, Marth. Sheik and Peach over Marth. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> respect Marth very much. <laughs> that is a very unpopular opinion. I put Marth at two or three. I also believe that Fal uh, I also believe that Falcon and Yoshi is 90-10 in Falcon's favor. So, you think uh, so? Oh, fuck. That's <laughs> the worst. You see, you're the only Yoshi player I know. And I don't know anything about Yoshi, so I can't even dispute that. Yoshi is shit. That's all you need to know. <laughs> No, I could have told you that. <laughs> no, Yoshi's good. He's just he's just difficult to use. 
Like, his weird movement is what makes him such a... So admirable. Oh my god, Jake, did you... Uh, I, like this I was playing Friendlies earlier, and I had trouble with the freaking Dancing Blade recovery, too. That, that's fair. I can hit it with space on it, so that's about it. I think... Does Jake have nerves right now? No. He's, he's handling yeah, Jake, pretty well. Jake's playing well. Yeah, he's boxing him out. But if he if he F-smashes on shield and Gulick sees it coming, he can get arrested for that. There we go, Jake! Let's do this! Hits him at the fair. Kills him off the top. 120. What the hell is that hitbox? Uh, what forward air sends you up? <laughs> Welcome to mine. <laughs> Alright, random up smash up. was not optimal, but... You know. I think Gulick found out what he has to do in this matchup. Play pressure. Keep Marth in his shield. Worth having a probably the worst shield that default top tiers. Worst shield? Yep. That's the problem that Marth has. His shield doesn't cover his entire body. That's what it is. He's so tall. Exactly. With Yoshi, he's really easy to freaking uh, neutral bait. You know, give him the big suck. <laughs> him and Sheik so. are the easiest. I wouldn't have Yoshi. We got a tiger in here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, this is. Jake is definitely doing a good job here when I... Ooh, hard reads or die! Oh Ooh. my god, Jake! <laughs> I'm not sure if that was more of a hard read or spaghetti from, from our boy Kai. Jake out here I, saying... I feel like it was kind of spaghetti because that was like a whole second that Connor was like, okay, I'm gonna jump in. Yeah, I'm gonna just hit him with a forward air or something. But Jake, bending Connor to his will on this Pokemon stadium. Yeah, Connor started Kill to camp... No, 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 no. Oh, Jake, get out of there. There Hitting we go. Up with the Trying to gauge on that percent. Okay. Stop uh, I, the I respect the counters. Stop I the respect the counters. <laughs> this is a, this this transformation is horrible for both. Marth can just play his aggression and have his back to the wall. I was about to say, like, how off. does like how does Puff and Marth function on this? <laughs> like most sensible human beings who wait for the transformation. Yeah. As a fox player, I love those walls on Pokemon seeing. I can play stupid aggro without fear of dying. I do that too, but it's not its not safe with Yoshi. Connor at 109 on his last stock. We have four minutes into this game. This is a slow one. Connor trying to keep it alive. Jake trying to cement this first game. No, Jake Jake's hitting me at the edge of my seat, though. Like, this is this is definitely impressive. The hard part is finding the kill here. Ooh, maybe not. There we go, Jake! JV2 stock! Jake taking game two. Now, the real question is Is Puff taking us to a stage that is not Dreamland? Because Dreamland is no, no, a, he's, he's, he's got to go Dreamland. Dreamland is a Marth's worst stage, and B Puff loves those glasses. No, that's his be that's her best stage. So yeah, no, Connor's definitely, but definitely. But Connor, I think Connor prefers Fountain to Dreamland, so it should be interesting. I fucking took him there. Oh my god. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> is it good for Puff? I know the I know the platforms for anyone not. Ooh, Jake Puff. bringing out the Falco. What's you going on? You fucking me. What's, what? What's going on? <laughs> Hold on a second, let me creep up to the oh, door and see if freaking- shit. No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. The there. Jake Falco. How many times do you think he's gonna get up through us in this game? There's think... one! <laughs> Bad oh, start. This is what I- like, Oh my fucking god, Jake, what are you doing? It's a shine. Gets nothing off his punish. Maybe 7%. If he wanted to have this set, why wouldn't he go Pikachu so we could understand freaking? Ooh, kind of. Uh, what down are you the doing, train. Jake? What the fuck are you doing? This match is tough for Falco. Especially more so when you're Falco's now. It's a question up. of why the fuck you're doing it. <laughs> like, I don't like Yoshi Sheik. I'm not gonna counterpick with fucking Bowser. <laughs> but can you blame him for not playing Pikachu and Puff? That matchup is rough. I... Axe, Axe doesn't play that matchup sometimes. I stick to my guns. Good on you. That's how it should be. But not every Smash player has their willpower to do so. Like, if you really love the character, you gotta go with them 100% of the time. Unless you're tired of them and you switch to freaking Ganondorf and Ness. <laughs> but otherwise, <laughs> you should stick to your guns. It's a good way to look at it. Connor coming out with a head of steam here. I'm expecting, I'm expecting a, a conservative two stock. Maybe, maybe a high stock. Maybe a high percent of stock. Yeah, I, I, I think it's three stock. I think Connor's looking for the quattro here. Jake doesn't want to give it to him, but... Good shield poke on the down air. Trying to keep it respectable. Try to... Game three, dude. Four stocks, 150%. Jake trying to stay alive. I keep his reputation intact. I want to ask him, like, what the fuck he's doing? This is game two, right? No, game three, right? This is game three. Game three, okay. It's 1-1 one, one in the set so far. Good DI. Good DI from Jake. He grabbed as well. Ooh, there we go! Dumpster. All right. 
Keep it respectable. Now, now, now get a laser. Make it respectable. Okay. Uh, JV, you won't. Felix is trying to wrap this up real quick. Jake trying to make a comeback. Connor is so Ooh. Oh, no way. Right don't, there. don't. No, he's don't, alive. He's alive. He's going to air dodge. Don't, don't, yeah. don't. Okay. It's I was hard. scared he was going to suicide dare or something <laughs> stupid. It's hard to cover that, that air dodge on the stage. His buff has so much air on I can't Edgard Peach for shit. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, especially here. I can't blame you. Good. And goodbye, yeah, Jake. Man. That was... Hyper Sun 3 stock. Hyper Sun 3 stock, yeah. That, he really pulled it out that last stock. Go to game 4. What do you think Jake's taking us? You think he's taking out the Pikachu? That's I don't know. All I, oh, I, just crept, I just looked into the window and I saw him with his giant ass headphones <laughs> listening to the anime jazz. <laughs> Freaking hunched over the controller. What else do you need? Uh, I... I think he should go to Rat. He should stick to his guns. He should. Rat is his best character by far. Yeah. My take on it is get good. Going back to Mars? It's gonna be yeah. where it's gonna be where Jake Marth. pulls out his pocket Pikachu. His pocket Pichu. Takes the Jake's Pichu is really underrated. I used to think my Pichu was hot shit until he three stocked it. Haven't played the character since. I'm the undisputed king of Pichu dudes. Really? Mm-hmm. Can you try? I don't no, want to play George though. <laughs> you're playing a set with Jake later today, right? I am. Can you two gentlemen of Pichu Ditto for like game one? <laughs> Only if it's on Pokemon Clips. That smart, smart man. Pichu's best stage. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, game four on Yoshi's. Now see, this is where I'd want to be if I was Mario. You get those up tilts on platforms. Hard for Puff. Puff also doesn't have too much space to do her thing. Puff can also pressure Marth pretty hard on the stage. Yeah, the thing is, it's shield. so small and you have barely any room to wiggle around giant hitboxes. And both these characters have giant hitboxes. Connor with an unprecedented five up the tilts in a row. Searching for the rest. I like that wave dash. That's cool. Like, you never say this about Puffs, but like, Connor's movement is superb. 100%. He, he, his aerial drift is so good. He always places neutral air on shield and gets out of shield range. It's insane. Jake, swinging away with that dancing blade. Trying like, to live. He's very well. Oh, I don't know drift. much about Puff, so it's hard to say, like, what he does. So <laughs> Ooh! Jake's saying what? I got a pen. Yeah, Jake. Jake's saying I got some nuts. I think he's just trying to freaking clutch out another game. He should be. He's trying to inflect that mental damage. Like, he's going, like, he's gonna, he's gonna give up game five, but I think he's, like, putting all of his heart into this. God bless him, though. Holy shit. Then what he can. Maybe this is him trying out a puff counter pick for tournament. Nice down air. I don't know. Back air on shield. That, that was questionable. Do you know the exact, like, the exact percentages of the freaking Pikachu puff match? Jake, you idiot! Interesting. Jake, 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 Jake. I do not know percentages. I know that the only, like, feasible kill option, other than neutral air at maybe 150, is... Ooh, swinging with that shield breaker. Up smash. Pikachu I feel can... like he doesn't rely on that enough. He Ooh. doesn't... Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Jake, a... Jake, you fucking idiot! There we go. Interesting. Yep. Oh my... Oh. Jake falling apart a little bit. I was gonna say Gulick was showing some spaghetti. But, but Jake... He should have just jumped on, but trying to do the wave lands fucked him up too much. Gulick's gotta be a little tired after playing through these two sets. He has to keep to. that mental fortitude, especially at our level. Get him at the stage by like, Ooh, Marth living. I feel sorry for, like, pro smashers. So do who have, like, yes. a set followed by a set, and it's always so close. But on the bright side, they get paid money to do this. That, that's true. I think if Marth pivots, if he hits a frame-perfect pivot, good up tilt. he can get down throw up smash. It's a net play strat for the most part. Used to be some beef between Rishi and Hungry Bucks. That's how I learned that. Connor with the edge guard. Jake on his tournament suck. Quote unquote tournament. His sweet suck. Connor with the down throw, looking to rest him off this. This was definitely a good idea to get some tapes of us out there. Yeah, 100%. That's Absolutely. Like... Jake trying to wall this puff out. Puff trying to. Puff saying, I have your down tilt in the air with my dog. Good up tilt, Jake! Keep keeping it respectable. Yeah, Less stock. I don't... Here's the thing. Since I only play Yoshi, and in the occasional mess of Ganon or something like that, like, I don't know... Hey, Danny. I can't gauge a Marth because I'm very comfortable with Marth. You know? Can't, yeah. So I would like, ah, it's like a... It's some Ooh, good claim. Connor didn't see that. Jake overstepping his boundaries. Ooh, He's play good, safe, conservative. Good spot dodge. Oh, Jake, you're a madman. You're a madman! What are you Jake, doing? Why are you going out there? Oh! oh! He 
bet it the red. She put all the marbles on that down there. But alas, all those marbles go to Jake and Puff. Good showing from Jake, though. I am pleasantly surprised. He used to both players. Definitely. Yeah, that, that was interesting.